ideas we go out to shoot come from you, the viewers. So when Barbara Miller of the Bahama News Bureau in Flores sent us an article about precision trained flamingos in Nassau, we went there to cover it. Yeah, but perhaps Miss Miller saw the precision routine of the flamingos on a better day than we did. So what you're about to see... In an official <laughs> Hear People <laughs> newsletter. <laughs> about surfing and surfing. I surfing I love surfing back in Nebraska my girlfriend and I used to spend hours on the surfboard Nebraska there's no water to surf on in Nebraska you got it <laughs> there are few sports as exhilarating and as exciting as surfing and few as dangerous it is surfer alone against the primal elements only the most skillful and daring are willing to risk their lives and hang tin searching for that ever elusive perfect wave Hey, Ruth, how you doing? Tide and surf's gonna be up about 15 minutes. But living in Hilton Head, South Carolina, is one of the country's oh, oldest oh. surfers who is still searching for that perfect wave. His name is Rumples Dowdy. And Rumples has been searching for that perfect wave for over 10 years now, ever since he was old enough to say, hur, hur. Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how. Come on. Every morning, come rain or shine, as long as there's surf, Rumpel still heads into the Atlantic looking for the biggie, waiting to hang 10, or in his case, hang 20. Rumpel's is almost 70 in human years, so he may be a little past his prime, but his owner says Rumpel still tries to ride everything. I've seen him shoot the curl. I've seen him flange back and forth twice, three times. It's the largest wave, really, that Rumpel's has ever ridden. It's probably been six and a half, seven feet on a good day. He really hit his prime about three years ago. Oh, I wish you could have seen him during his heyday. Those were the days when he truly did hang 20. He'd go out in northeast winds. He'd look forward to hurricanes. It was a sight to behold. He's ridden surf that I could never ride. Rumples probably says to himself, I'd like to see Lassie or Benji try this. Look at that dog. Look at him. Look at him coming in like that. That really is something. Really something to see. Look at him. Some dog. Some dog. Not everyone believes that what they're looking at on the surfboard is all dog. Some think it's all bull. That dog can't possibly surf. That's hard for me to do. How could that dog do it? You might take a picture of something out there surfing. It would be a person in a dog suit. And from a distance, you couldn't tell the difference. If, if he can surf, I'd like to see it. Well, there are a lot of skeptics out there. They always imagine a surfing dog that you scotch tape his feet to a surfboard and you strap a haunch of roast beef on the front. Trump does it for his own personal relaxation. <laughs> We've had requests from dog food companies to uh, become really the next canine Morris, and uh, we refuse it stri strictly on principle. Once you start to do it for money, the fun goes. 